And on June 14, 1946, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker, so God gave us Trump. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, fix this country, work all day, fight the Marxists, eat supper, then go to the Oval Office and stay past midnight at a meeting of the heads of state. So God made Trump. I need somebody with arms, strong enough to rustle the deep state, and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to ruffle the feathers, tame cantankerous World Economic Forum, come home hungry, have to wait until the first lady is done with lunch with friends, then tell the ladies to be sure and come back real soon, and mean it. So God gave us Trump. I need somebody who can shape an ax, but wield a sword, who had the courage to step foot in North Korea, who can make money from the tar of the sand, turn liquid to gold, who understands the difference between tariffs and inflation, will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, but then put in another 72 hours. So God made Trump. God had to have somebody willing to go into the den of vipers, call out the fake news for their tongues as sharp as a serpent's. The poison of vipers is on their lips, and yet stop. So God made Trump. God said, I need somebody who will be strong and courageous, who will not be afraid or terrified of the wolves when they attack, a man who cares for the flock, a shepherd to mankind who won't ever leave nor forsake them. I need the most diligent worker to follow the path and remain strong in faith and know the belief of God and country, somebody who's willing to drill, bring back manufacturing and American jobs, farm the lands, secure our borders, build our military, fight the system all day, and finish a hard week's work by attending church on Sunday. And then his oldest son turns and says, Dad, let's make America great again. Dad, let's build back a country to be the envy of the world again. So God made Trump. Based upon this video Trump came out with you know, his, uh, it was called Trump Shares Messianic Video about God sending him to save the world. To save world. Okay, so, it's, so it says here in Psalm chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? So the people are imagining a vain thing, thinking that they can, that they're going to have the ruling seat forever. And the heathen are raging, you know, because what? They want that ruling seat. They want to rule the earth. They want the kingdom. It says the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away the cords from us, because we had to ask the rulership. We had to ask uh and submission and subjection to us, man. Alright, locked up and bonded, man. Okay? They couldn't do shit. Alright, they were afraid of us. They were serving us. They were doing giving due service unto us, man. We were Ruling the nations, we had our foots on their and they're on their necks, man. Now they got their foots on our necks. It says, "He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, for the Lord shall have them in derision." Okay, the Lord will have them in derision, man. He, the Lord is what? <laughs> and um, even the Lord's elect, the Lord's elect laugh, man, because what? They know that the Lord going to have them in derision. So let me grab this in the book of Job. Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined. So Esau's days are determined. He has a, a set season that he can rule. 
the number of his months are with thee. <laughs> now was appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So Esau can't rule past the appointed time he was given to ruling. Or so, he, so like it past the appointed time he was given to rule. You know. That brings me back here also to the book of Luke. It's the book of Luke. Um, chapter. F no, no, no. Um. This book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, talk, speaking of Israel, and shall be led captive, just like, and shall be led away captive into all nations. All right, and that's what happened to us. We were led away captive uh, as slaves into all nations, split up and sent all across the world, man, to give service into all the nations. Okay. It says, Abba mean the Esau Edom man. It says, And Jerusalem shall be charted down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So that means they have a certain season. And they're going to have Israel in derision. Because the Lord going to have them in derision soon, man. All right. They got Israel in submission. But the Lord is about to have them in submission. The table's about to flip, man. Okay, it ain't going to be like this forever. We ain't going to be... Um, but of everyone's joke forever, man. We ain't gonna be at the back all the time. The scriptures say the last shall be first and the first shall be last. So right now we last and Esau's first. But guess what? That's gonna flip around, man. It ain't meant to be like that forever. These devils are gonna take the uh the back seat of the bus pretty soon, man. There's the book of Psalms chapter 37 and verse. Let's grab, let's start at verse. Uh, yeah, this is pretty long. Let's start at verse 9. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh shall shy, they shall inherit the earth. Whew. For yet a little while. And the wicked shall not be. Yeah, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. So though he be here now, guess what? A little in a little while, he ain't gonna be. All right, he's gonna be snuffed out of the earth. All right, it'll be like a bad dream. You just woke up in a bad dream, and now you can't find that nigga no more. Esau is a real nigga. It says, "But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace." Scripture says, say, a city is built, you know, and rest is allowed. So there's going to be a time for peace, but now isn't the time for peace. Scripture says, arise ye in a park, Micah 2 and 10, for this is not your rest. But, you know, you, know, you go on, it's Scripture says, a city is built where rest is allowed. So it's, rest going to be allowed sooner, man. Okay? It's just not now. All right? You got to get your mind out of the gutter. You got to focus on what's most important and... and uh, pull yourself from the distractions of this, of this world, man, or you're going to be swallowed up with it. It says, the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. So the wicked is plotting against us constantly, man. You know, Esau, Edom is plotting against Israel constantly. And um, even deeper than that, all the wicked, two-thirds of our people, you know, uh, these heathen nations, and Esau, Edom, plotting against the Lord's elect, man. But the Lord set his elect up to save Israel. You know, and his son, Yahushua, uh, ultimately going to save all of Israel, man. You know, because if it ain't for him, we ain't going to be able to get out of here. You know, brother had a dream that uh, he was with all the elect. All of them were fighting this huge giant, which represented es Esau. Underneath the, uh, you know, they were fighting him inside of a pyramid. You know, the pyramid on the dollar, like the, like the Egyptian pyramid, which represents Egypt. Captivity. You're fighting in America. You know, and... um. Uh, you had Superman walk through the door and he just casually pulled up and came and everybody stopped and was looking. You know, brother ran up to him. You know, brother Simon said, we've been fighting him all this time, using all things that we can possibly do against him. And, you know, because they were fighting with spiritual power, flying around, shooting laser beams, all of that stuff. You know, uh, Superman came to the door and he represented Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, man. He represented Yahweh Shai, I truly believe. And brother went up, he said, um... We've been fighting him all this time, and uh, we haven't been able to bring him to a complete end. What shall you be able to do? And man, everything, you know, it was like uh, 
it shifted the dream shifted over to you know uh superman holding the, the earth in his hand and slamming it against other planets but it was mainly uh getting slammed upon on america america was damaged the most you know so you saw so you saw the shape of the world all the countries you know all the countries are really hit but america was annihilated man and so the lord is truly pissed with america it says the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. So the day of Esau's Edom, uh, Esau Edom's rulership is coming to an end. That 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 end date is coming. So the Lord is laughing at this nigga like, <laughs> you really think you're going to rule forever, man? In fact, let's grab that and close it out with that. says in the book of Psalms chapter 49 verse 11 it says their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations they call their lands after their own names so their inward thought is that their house which their rulership their country wherever they sit their ass on is going to continue forever okay they call them their, their, their lands after their own names but it's a vain thing the heathen are raging, they're imagining a vain thing, because guess what? It won't last forever, and it does have an end. So with that, I truly was thus most uh, edifying to you. I cannot wealth with listening to truth and sincerity. Until next year, Shirella, I give all glory, honor, praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kokodash. Shalom.